What's up Shady Crew? Back at it again with another reaction. And yo, we got something different. Now we're not reacting to um, an actual video today, but we're getting into this Dax talk, man, about the man Dax and this Dax knows personality, man. Um, if you guys aren't aware, man, this has been stirring up some real hard mixed emotions. I think there was a live that uh, Chase did in regards to it. Um, so we're gonna get into this, we're gonna dive into it, we're gonna take a look at some receipts. And uh, yeah, man, just just break this down, bro. At least try to understand the, what, the, what the janitor's thought process is and all of this. Um, but anyways, guys, um, let's go ahead and hop into this and just see if we can understand what's going on. But anyways, um, as you see on the screen, man, I got this pulled up. This is uh, Dax's IG page. Um, now, the crazy thing about this is, man, we had one vid of Dax in a rec, like a rec center, a college rec center, playing basketball, and then next thing we know, you get hit with this. This post where he's like, please pray for me. So of course, everybody's like, yo, you know, hope all is well, hope everything is good. Everybody's like DMing him, like bro, we're, we hope that you're good. Like they're checking on him and everything, right? Um, because anytime you say, please pray for me, people are thinking the worst. Like, we don't know if you found out you had some type of illness, sickness, or what, what if. Then he starts dropping vids like this. Starts dropping vids like this, where he's taking medication and having side effects from the meds that he's taking, right? And, um... So he's taking these these pills. I don't know if it's gonna play or not, but he's taking these these pills, right? And he's talking about the side effects. He's talking about depression. He, he like for those that are actually going through depression, this is a this is a tough this is tough for them because they actually kind of identified with Dax. He's talking about something that they're going through. So it's like, yo, you feel where I'm coming from. And they were getting inspired uh, based off of, you know, the info that he was putting out. So this is going to act stupid. But anyways, um, so then... Honestly, um, we got this. Are you starting to notice changes in my body? I don't know. Right. So when I seen this bit, I was like, I know that he's not going to go the route that I think he's going. The fact that he had a purple earlobe and he had already called himself Dax Nose before. Like when the 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 um, when he finally decided to respond to the diss track uh, that was thrown his way, um, he came out with whack, whack ass rappers a war. Uh, he, he embodied this Daxnos character, um, even though we know uh, that Thanos died twice, but that's besides the point. He embodied this character, right? So, then we get this here. Then we get this here, and I'm like, bro, please tell me that this man is not pitching a track. Please tell me he's not pitching a track. And then we had this joke. Oh my gosh. When I, I'm like, bro, you cannot be serious. People were really in their, you know, really feeling like there was something wrong, something happened, something was going on. And the entire time, this man was promoting a track. The entire time, he was setting this up, setting the stage up, like he's taking pills and it's giving him a side effects and it's bringing forth that fax notes. Come on, bro. Like, there has to be other ways to go about this. And then, this was what he posted today. This is the most recent post, was this, saying that the video's dropping tomorrow. My life has been kind of crazy. And I'm like, come on, bro. Come on. 
like I, I get it, you know, uh, independent artists, you're trying to push, uh, you know, tracks, but the thing is, when, when you drop the war track, you didn't rebuttal and try to play victim and say that, you know, it wasn't a diss track, it was just a freestyle, you weren't trying to go at anybody, but you name dropped like three, four people in the track. You were trying to diss them because they, you know, whatever the issues happened in the past, the diss track that Screwface dropped on you before, there was never a response to it. You decided you were just gonna come at everybody because, you know, they, they I get, apparently made you look bad. I mean, it was your own fault, the things that you did, that's up to, um, to you to fix or resolve, but you didn't. You, you didn't take the high road, so we're here. And it's crazy because like three months ago, when you dropped the last track, there were so many diss tracks that we couldn't even keep up with the diss tracks. You had diss tracks from High Res, diss track from Crip, diss track from Dwayne TV, diss track from uh, Chase, from Screw. Like all of these people dropped diss tracks on you and it went silent. It went silent. You didn't respond. You kept saying, oh, well, when this reaches a certain amount, then I have other music to drop. And so everything has been silent. Everybody's moved on. Everybody's gone about their business. And then you set up this ploy. And it's sad, bro. It's sad because like, let the bar speak for themselves. Like you don't have to do all of this. That This is just horrible. Just imagine like, just imagine if your favorite artist was acting like he was a paraplegic, but it was to sell a record. Like, it's that, it, it's crazy that your mind thinks the way that it does, bro. You don't have to do all of this. But like, I figured that this was the route he was going. As soon as I seen the purple color in his ear, I said, this man, there's nothing wrong with this man. He is literally about to drop some uh, Thanos type, Facts nose type music. I knew it. I knew it. If you watch how this man moved, you already knew what was coming. You already, you could have seen it a mile away. And it's crazy because for his fans, bro, it's like they may enjoy your music, but personal, like your personality and your character is called into question because how do you clean this up? For everybody that you talk to, everybody that was um, really. Uh, identifying with you on the, the fact that you were depressed, going through, experiencing this, that, and the third. How do you clear this up? Because they're going to feel like you, you basically shitted on them. Like you basically pander to the fact that this is a real disease, but you never had it. Like you weren't depressed. You weren't going through anything. You weren't experiencing. You were trying to sell records or a diss track or build hype for a track that you're about to drop. And you didn't let them know. I mean, I understand. They, you know, people do a lot of things for clout. People do a lot of things to try to build. But this is some weird stuff, bro. Like, this is weird. This is weird. And for someone to say, because um, you always say you want to be the next Tupac. Tupac would have never done anything like this, bro. Ever. In his life, he wouldn't do. If it's not to inspire people, if it wasn't to bring awareness to something, he would never do this. Not for a track. It's just sad, bro, that this is the state that we're in as it pertains to music. That we got artists out here pandering to a disease, bro. Getting a whole collective group of people that have a serious illness and then just drop dropping them off like oh yeah by the way the, i'm fine this was all for music like come on bro you can't do this you can't like it, it's crazy because at the at this point it's like nobody really wants to even hear the music at this point nobody wants to even hear the track because the press or the build up to it was so bad so even if let's say let, let's say for all intents and purposes that the track is fire, that you rip this one, but the build up for it is so bad, nobody's gonna wanna listen to that. Nobody's gonna wanna give it attention. No one wants to even check it out. Why? Because this, 
like, come on, bro. Like, I don't know who taught you this, these market employees, but man, you need to give these back to the people. Whoever came up with this, whether it was your own idea, you need to scratch this. Make it about the music, bro. And when it comes to like these diss tracks, you can't diss someone and play victim, bro. Either you're gonna give bars or are you gonna go home. You didn't do that when it came to uh, Tory Lanez. When when you gave him bars and you 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 got in his in his ass, even though he ran up on you and got in yours, I'm just saying like you gave him bars. You, you it. We felt bad in that situation because it was literally about the bars, and then he pulled up on me. Like, let's keep it about the bars. Like, don't build up and play with people's emotions like that, bro. People are really deal dealing with a lot of stuff. You see the state that we're in currently with how sensitive people are, how, how shit plays out, bro. Like, this is the worst thing. You got kids that follow you, bro. You got young, young adults, young teens that follow you, that look up to you, that are inspired by you. We don't need more people moving like Dax out here. Like this, this is this is weird. And I normally I wouldn't make a bid on this, but like this was so bad, bro. This was so bad in regards to a build up to a track that like I I just had to save my two cents, bro. Like this is crazy for you, and you should really think about this. You should really think about it. Now I know your diehard friend, fans are gonna listen to the track. They're probably gonna embrace the track. But at the same time, bro, this is bad. This is bad press. And there's no way that you can turn this around to be good press. Like, you did not have to go this far. Like, this is reaching, reaching. But hey, man, you guys have to let me know. What did you think about this? Is this just, you know, is are you guys okay with this type of marketing ploy? Or, like, do you guys really feel some type of way? Because, like, for me, I couldn't imagine my artist pandering to a disease to push a track like i i would have i would call i would be done i'll be done because like let the music speak for itself that's how i feel about it when it comes to rap when it comes to pop when it comes to country whatever genre it is let it speak for itself bro let let the bars let the track let the music speak for itself you don't have to do all of the extras uh to get attention to get clout to get all of that bro just be real and I think that's the biggest thing, the biggest problem that people have with Dax is they want him to be real. And every time they latch on and think that this man is 100% this way, he pulls a monkey wrench and turns completely left and leaves them high and dry. Every single time. Every single time. This man has snapped on people because they considered themselves fans versus family. Like, it's been a whole crazy buildup crazy build up to this point and it's sad because if you would have been authentic if you would have just been genuine if you would have just been you like you were in the beginning before all of the attention in the press bro they would have rocked with you way harder by now than all of this nonsense that you're starting now but hey everybody has a path and a journey they, they go through and i guess this is yours but hey i'm just saying I'm not feeling it. I don't think that that was the way that he should have went about it, but that's my opinion. Again, it's one person's opinion. Everybody may feel differently, but yo, I, I wasn't feeling it. And I thought that this was just very, very untapped. Like it's like when you think about the buildup, because I think the first post was like August 19th, like it's the 27th now. You know what I mean? Like, do you imagine the emotional roller coaster these people have been on riding with you thus far? It's crazy, bro. But these are my thoughts on it, man. Definitely wanted to bring this this uh, vid and just give my two cents on it. Um, you guys, let me know, man. We can definitely hash it up in the comments, man. Um, I don't take any offense to any comments that you guys drop. Like, um, we can definitely hash it up and talk. If you feel that it's okay, then that's you. I just can't rock with it. I don't feel that it was dope uh, for him to take it this route. It just, it's bad press in my eyes, but of course everybody may feel differently, but that's you. I'm just saying for me, I wouldn't do it. And if my artist that I supported, that I rock with, pulled the stunt like this, get him out of here. 
that's all I'm gonna say. But anyways, guys, we're gonna keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video's coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.